Welcome back to UMC Workout, guys. This here is a five-minute full-body circuit brought to you by Coach Bobby and Amari. As always, we're going to do big body parts first. So the order is going to be legs, back, chest, and then biceps and triceps. We're going to work for 45 seconds and then rotate for 15 seconds. So squats first, goblet squats. Here we go. Two, one, let's start. All right, so we're going to go, uh, again, goblet squats. You want your chest out chest out right and your butt out we want to squat down low keep the chest up and butt out drive through the heels as you come up keep the dumbbell nice and high right under your chin if you let it drop too much you're gonna hurt your back all right guys so 23 seconds left let's squat deep good rotate the hips a little bit forward at the very top give your back some rest all right squat down slowly control the negative that's the gravity portion of the exercise all right here we go in 10 nine eight good job guys seven five good work chest up booty out chest up booty out two one good job guys rest 15 seconds all right legs and then back is next all right for back we're going to do trx rows you can do any back exercise you want we're going to do trx rows though all right in three two one here we go pull squeeze again control the negative that's the gravity portion of the exercise okay so don't let it drop so fast as my son is doing here you want to control the negative keep that shoulder joint stable all right the closer you are to the wall the more body weight is suspended so the harder it is so start off at a comfortable level at an angle that's comfortable as you get stronger move further in toward the wall all right guys almost there good 17 15 control it good squeeze the back as you go up the grip can vary as you want i always go palms in typically but squeeze the back and seven good five keep it up guys four three two one good job guys rest 15 seconds we're going to rotate now the chest all right i always alternate between push and pull exercises so back is a pull we're going to do a push now for chest so dumbbell chest presses guys here we go in two and one here we go put the dumbbell on the lap first always and then use your legs to rock them back into position all right here we go so you're going to do a small semicircle, if you will you're going to bring the dumbbells close at the very top of the movement tap them don't bang them tap them if you want squeeze the chest at the very top you're going to bring it down in the semicircle, right going out a little bit not too far away from the body right keep your shoulders stable and safe and when you come down close to your chest bring that dumbbell close to the body again keeping your shoulders safe all right guys control the weight throughout the movement in 10 good eight seven nice guys five keep it up four three push two one good job guys all right we go rest 15 seconds all right so we went back chest right that's a pull and a push so we could do triceps now but we're tired, right? We did a push just now. So biceps are next. Here we go in three, two, one. Good, dumbbell curls. Here we go, dumbbell curls. Now we do double, right? You can do single arms, but because we do a time-based workout, you wanna get as much as you can, as much work as you can in the 30 or 45 seconds in this case. So we do double, right? It also gives you the added benefit of having core work right the balancing of your body forces your core to do some work all right so dumbbell curls here we go in 18 seconds good job guys i rotate mine up uh palms up and i do a a neutral grip on the bottom it allows you to go a little bit heavier and keep your uh body from swinging forward as much on the movement all right five here we go in three two one good job you guys good job here we go rest 15 seconds all right, triceps, right? We did legs, back, chest, biceps. Now we're doing triceps. Lying down, tricep extensions. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So again, put the dumbbells to your waist first. Two, one. Here we go. Start it off. So dumbbells to the lap first. Push them back in position. All right, here we go. Push out. Now on these, you want to make sure you don't move the shoulder too much, right? Pivot on the elbow joint only. Right, elbows in. Keep your shoulders uh, stable. And then bring the dumbbells to about the temple level right the temple of your head right bring them right there every time slowly again control the negative right that means the gravity portion of the exercise come down slow go up come down slow go up lock the elbows out each time squeeze the tricep 
10 seconds left, guys. Good. Eight, seven, six. Good job, guys. We go. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to rest. That's one round, guys. Five minutes. My son's checking to see if the timer's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. The clock is on. This camera's on. All right, guys. So we're going to rest 45 seconds between rounds. So each round is 45 work, 15 rest. Right, so one minute per body part, five body parts, five minute round. We're gonna do two rounds in this video, but you can restart the video if you want and do another two rounds to make it 20 minutes, right? Or 30 minutes and do uh, six rounds, all right? So we're going in, I believe it's 15 seconds. Here we go. In eight, good job, you guys. In five, right? Legs, chest, back, chest, legs, chest, back, biceps, triceps. Here we go, two, one, here we go. Squats first. Chest up, booty out, chest up, booty out. Drive through the heels, drive through the heels. Okay, good. Right, try to squeeze the core as you drive through the heels. You actually work more, you burn more calories, believe it or not, doing squats than you do jogging at a moderate pace. You also do more ab work and ab uh, flex, flexion doing squats than you do a typical crunch, all right? So 15 seconds, here we go. Good, 13. Nice, guys. 10. Good. 8. Come on, guys. Push. I know it hurts. 6. 5. Good work. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. 3. 2. 1. Great work, guys. Great work. Keep it up. These things burn. Now, the beauty of using a 30-second clock, guys, is just, it's just, you can have a variety of workouts. You can do 30-second increments, which we normally do, but also you can break it up and do 45 seconds. All right. 2. 1. Here we go. TRX now, guys. Good, nice. So we can do a 45 second station, right, without changing the clock. We just break up one of the 30s into a 15 second increment and then add to that a 30 second full, full station, if you will. So 15 work uh, plus 30 work is 45 and then 15 seconds you can use as your rest and rotation period, all right? 15 seconds, again, control the negative, Amari, Good, 10 seconds, good. Squeeze the back going up, eight, seven, nice. Five, here we go, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys, good job. Good work, good work, all right. Now we're gonna go to chest, right? Fight through it, you see my son is dragging, the body language is bad, but I don't allow him to feel sorry for himself. Let's go, three, two, one. Here we go, good, dumbbells. Sit down first, dumbbells on lap. Right? And then use your legs to push the dumbbells back to your position, close to your chest. Here we go. Press out small semicircles. Tap the dumbbells at the top without banging them too hard. Here we go. Good. 30 seconds. Push. Now on these, if you go heavier on certain movements, then you can start a little bit later. Right? 45 seconds is a long time for heavy weights. So as long as you get 30 seconds in, you're good to go. So sometimes when I go heavier, I will wait until about the 30 second mark and a little, little more rest, a little less work. All right, guys, seven, here we go. Five, come on, push, push, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Good job, good job, good work. Biceps and then triceps, guys. And that's it for round two. Good work, come on now, eight seconds. Again, same with biceps. If you're going heavier than usual, you can start a little bit late. Two, one, here we go. Here we go, guys, good. Push, here we go, nice. Again, I rotate my palms up, right, to go a little heavier, right? I go neutral position or neutral grip on the bottom, and I rotate my palms up toward the top. That allows you to go a little bit heavier than you would if your palms were out the whole time. Here we go. And it also alleviates some pressure on your elbow. 20 seconds, come on, push, guys, push. 17, come on, let's go, we got it. We got this, 13, push, good, nice, 10 seconds, come on, let's go, eight, nice, five, finish it, finish it, three, finish it, two, one, good job, good job. One more station, I know it's painful, nothing's free, guys, that's the price you gotta pay for greatness, fight through it, fight through it, here we go. In five seconds, last thing, triceps, in three, two, one, here we go. Again, dumbbells to the lap, 
right? Use your legs, push them back in position. Here we go. If it's heavier, start a little bit later. Let's go. Pivot on the elbow joint only. Let's go. Good dumbbells down slowly toward the temple area. Here we go. 30 seconds and we're done. Let's push. Let's push. Let's push. Nice. Come on, guys. Good. Good. 20 at the very top. Make sure we flex right now. If you get tired, you can go palms away. Give your triceps some rest, right? It's harder to have your palms in towards your face the whole time. If you get tired or go heavy, go palms away at the top. Five. Almost done. Three, two, one. Great job, guys. That's two rounds. 10 minutes, not including the rest period between. About 11 minutes, including the rest. And that's it, guys. So if you want to do it again or do a few more rounds, just hit uh, restart and do it again. Great job today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy yourself.